how are you? It's Fridia. How has everyone been? Um, this type of talking type of haul is the first of the year, so I wanted to say uh, Happy New Year to everyone, and I wish everyone the best year ever. Um, yeah, and I don't know if some of you have realized, but I think I'm going to concentrate more on my main channel this year. I probably did a second channel too soon. Trying to build two channels at the same time is harder than what I thought. So I'm going to be concentrating more on this channel and adding Japanese subtitles, or I might do vice versa. It depends on, you know, where I'm at and stuff like that. But hopefully you guys understand and hopefully you guys will keep coming back for more. And for all the new subscribers and all the subscribers that have been with me since, uh, the beginning of last year thank you so much it's been so amazing and awesome hearing from you guys and really this has been like such a fun time making videos i honestly i really do love hearing from all of you and every time you guys post a comment i do read every single one so thank you so much today what i want to do is i got the chance to go to the imats uh 2014 here in pasadena and um I honestly didn't know much about it and um, love to be free she told me about it and I found out Asahi is coming too so I thought you know what I should probably get a ticket and go and since I do have a nail license that I got here in the United States at a Japanese nail salon by the way um, I was able to get a pro card which gives you access to go in on the very first day which is Friday from 4 to 7 and that's where I picked up most of my things and then I bought an extra ticket on Sunday so that I can go with all of the girls so I just wanted to do a quick haul I think I overbought I definitely overbought but um yeah there I, I overbought there are so many items that I got and but the thing is though I overbought, but I didn't break bank. Like, I didn't go over what I thought I would go. So, it, I think it's good. I got a lot of product for a very reasonable and affordable price, which is one thing that I did not know much about iMats, is that you can buy a lot of things, especially if you have the pro card, you can buy it with a discount, an additional discount, which helped a lot. And so I'm really grateful that, um, that I was able to do that. It's going to be a really quick haul because I did get a lot of items. I'm just going to show you really quickly. So first off was the Sigma booth and I have always wanted Sigma brushes. I don't own any. These are my very first. And I got the flat angled F88 Kabuki brush. And I've always wanted to try this because I think it'll be good for like contouring or putting um, foundation on. It just, it's such a beautiful brush and it's so soft. Um, yeah, I'm so excited for this one. And then this one, um, Love To Be Free, she actually recommended it to me. This is the Small Tapered Blending E45 brush. And this, um, she told me, is really good to just really get into the creases to blend. And since I don't have anything of the sort, I thought I should just grab one. At the last day, I think it was like the last hour or so, Sigma was doing a 50% off, but then it started to line up like crazy. Um... For a second I thought maybe I'd line up, but I didn't. Maybe I'll wait till next year. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I don't have that many brushes. I've been using brushes that I've had since I was 18, and they're like my travel brushes. I just keep really good care of them. Um, but yeah, I thought maybe I should have more brushes in my life, and so I got these at Sigma, but I kept shopping. Then I went over to Morph, and this is what happened. A lot of other brushes happened. Um, I, well, one thing I did want was an under the eye concealer brush, and the lady recommended this one. I'm sorry, they don't have any numbers or anything, so I don't know what it is, but it's like a small stipple uh, brush, and it's really soft. I've already used it a few times. Um, she recommended it so that I can use it under the eye. The only thing is, is the brushes, they're a little longer to go under the eye, so it kind of gets in the eye when I go around these corners but if it's right under here where you're blending your foundation with your concealer I think it works perfectly so um, it's really nice it's really soft and it was very affordable the next item she recommended was like this big round 
um, foundation buffing brush and I had never used anything with like a dome like this and again it was really affordable and I thought I'd try it out and I have been using it and I have been loving it it is actually really nice it just it gets everything in there and it buffs out so nice so evenly and it's it's great. I'm actually really glad I got this one. I just wanted another eyeliner since I didn't have one, so I just got an angled eyeliner brush. I don't know, for some reason, me, <laughs> Love, and Asahi just got into finding these little blending brushes, and so I got this one, and it's really soft, right? It's really soft, but Love said she used it, and it was a little harder than what she thought. So I haven't actually used it yet, but I don't know, we'll see. But it's it's really nice. It's like so compact. It's such a small little head that I think it'll it'll be perfect to just get into those little creases. And then um I didn't have anything like this, so I picked up the I don't know, it's like a kabuki, like a really thin kabuki. It kind of reminds me of that NARS the bronzer one that goes in here and so I thought this would be great for summer because you know you do a little bit more contouring and you get to play a little bit more with your bronzer and I thought it would be fun to use and so I picked one of these up sorry I'm really sorry that they don't have any style numbers on them I should have paid more attention and then this is just it was only two dollars so I just picked this up and I like it because I have really soft fine eyebrows and I like to put them in place with this or um, Another trick is that you can get hairspray and put it at the ends and then just put your, your eyebrows in place if you don't want to use any like mascara or anything like that. So I just thought I'd pick one up. It was $2. By the way, I think this was like 2 or $3. This was probably 5 and this was 9 and I think this was 9 as well. So uh, yeah, pretty affordable. Alright, my last brushes, they are from Crown Pro, and uh, I picked up a smoky eyeliner brush, this is C468, and I picked it up because I do have one, but I don't have one that's this fine, and I thought it would be good to get like under the eye, just to kind of really smudge it in. Um, it's really pointed and really soft at the end, so I thought it would be perfect. And I actually picked up another eyeliner brush, because this was also $2, and I picked this up because I picked up some um, eyeliner gels at Inglot, which I'll show you next. Like I said before, we were going on this little small blending brush craze, and I picked this up because Love said that this Crown Pro brush is actually softer than the Morph one. So I picked this one up, and when you place it on your face, you can actually tell it is like a softer touch to it. So I picked that up, and these were very affordable. I also forgot that Asahi got me a brush um, since I told her about the um, the concealer brush. She told me that I should use something that's a little bit more shorter and flat and so she found this. I'm not sure where she found oh, it's that crown brush and it is C455 and I got this. I haven't used it yet because I just got it yesterday but um, yeah, it was really sweet of her. She picked it up for me, and so I'm looking forward to using this, and I think it'll work better. It already seems to work better when I like I place it around here. I'm like, yep, it fits. The other one, it, doesn't, it just gets in my eye. But yeah, so thank you, Asahi. So I went over to Inglot, and I didn't know much about the brand. Apparently, maybe I think it was their first time here um, in, their, in that show, I think. And... Um, they had so many beautiful, beautiful colors. I didn't know where to pick. And so the guy there, he recommended the gel eyeliners. And they had like metallics and all these amazing colors. And I put two colors in. But something happened. So I put in this really beautiful light blue color. This is number 88. It's like a matte uh, baby blue eyeliner. And I also ordered a matte baby pink eyeliner, and I wrote, it's a number 71, but I think the lady who went to go get the eyeliner, she thought it was number 77. So she gave me a 77, which is a black matte, which is nice. I'm going to try to see if I can exchange it so it's not open, but it's this beautiful matte black color. It's number 77, and it's great, but I really wanted that soft pink, that baby pink matte color, so... 
yeah, I'm going to see if I can exchange this. Hopefully, they'll say yes. I emailed them today, so we'll see. Another thing he recommended was the highlighters. And I'm a big fan of highlighters. I always think that the, the skin care and everything you put underneath your foundation is like what you should concentrate more on because that's what's gonna like just glow out of your skin like even though as much as you, you you place on your skin or anything it has to come from underneath and so i'm all about these um illuminators or highlighter things and this is a face and body illuminator and they had i think they're like six different colors maybe seven i picked the number 65 which is more of like a gold tone because i think it would fit my skin tone better um but it looks kind of dark but when you actually place it and put it into your skin it just becomes this really nice soft glow. It's not like harsh glitter or anything like that. So I thought it was really pretty and I'm glad I got this. And this I think was only like $11, which I think is a steal. Moving on, we're going to Lime Crime. And I have always been a fan of Lime Crime. I actually have, I think three different of uh, uh, lipsticks of theirs, the matte lilac and the pink and all that. And everyone at the booth, they were always going for like the dark colors, which is great. I agree, they're gorgeous, really pigmented, beautiful colors. But for some reason, my hand kept going to the other side and I just wanted like these light, pretty colors. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting ready for spring. And no one was picking this up, but I did. And it's called the Snow Sickle, which is like this really pretty, um, like icy blue. It's clear with like little blue uh, glitter particles. And I just thought it was so pretty and it would be great for just everyday makeup where you don't, you know, it can just be, instead of just like a regular clear gloss, just to have like this little, little iridescent light blue on your lips and I thought it was really pretty. Pick that up. And because of the spring summer 2014 the white eyeliner trend, I've been looking for white eyeliners that are liquid. Um like I have a few white, but when you put a white pencil eyeliner, it's not as pigmented or as thick unless you keep putting it on, which I think is great. But when I saw this, I was like, "Oh my god, because it is so pigmented and so pretty and so easy to apply. I just had to get it. Plus the packaging is so cute. It's like like white with little black polka dots. It's adorable. Yeah, so I thought um, I, I wanted to do a video on how to play with white eyeliner and this will be perfect to do that. So that's going to be coming up soon. So watch out for that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and please thumbs up it if you liked it. Please don't forget to share. Why not? All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.